Across Asia, financing continues to pour into fossil fuel projects. It is both the public and private financial institutions that invest people's money into fossil fuel projects that harm our planet and destroy our future. It's time to connect the dots and shed the light on one of the drivers of the climate crisis, the financial institutions. Within the Asia region, Japanese banks are the biggest funder of fossil fuel projects. These private banks are funding fossil fuel projects overseas in countries like Indonesia and Bangladesh. Japan is also the world's largest public financier of fossil fuel projects. There is also public financial institutions within the Asia region, like the Asian Development Bank, which continues to fund fossil fuel projects in the region. ADB announced its coal-free policy, but has not yet fully committed to investing in 100% renewable energy. Without this commitment, ADB can finance fossil gas projects instead of fully transitioning to renewable energy. Let us take a look at how financial institutions make a profit from destroying the planet and putting people's health, livelihood, and security in jeopardy. In Indonesia, the Indramayu coal plant has affected the residents in the area whose livelihoods are also at stake. Dulu bu, sebelum ada PLTU, saya menangkap ikan kan enak, di pinggir-pinggir pantai kan banyak. Tuh. Penghasilan saya dulu, ya satu bulan tuh mencapai 5 juta atau 6 juta. Gampang. Dulu, sebelum ada PLTU. In Bangladesh, human rights violations are experienced by workers in the Matarbari coal plant. They are also forced to flee to other areas. In the Philippines, the San Miguel coal plant has affected the health of the residents in Bataan. So, isa pa doon, wala silang proper disposal noon ng ash, ng ash ng coal plant na yan, ng San Miguel. So, lahat, dito sa komunidad, maraming naapiktuhan. Lalo na din yung mga kabataan, at saka yung mga matatanda na rin. So, nagkaroon ng skin rashes. The Japanese government announced that it will halt all funding for fossil fuel projects overseas. This is a win for communities in Indonesia and Bangladesh who are affected by the coal projects. Instead of financing dirty energy projects, these financial institutions should back people power initiatives and pave the way for just energy transition that brings about principles of transparency and accountability. They must also veer away from funding false solutions or greenwashing like gas transition or capture technology that further perpetuates the climate crisis. They must tackle the problem at the source. Stop financing dirty energy. It is time for investments to pour into community-based and grassroots-led solutions to invest in the future and well-being of people and the planet.